Season 5, Season 6, and Season 7, that's where it started to get a little bit darker in the Sons of Anarchy world where it's sadness. I mean, remember Tig's daughter getting burned at the beginning of Season 5, at the, you know, with, with Pope and Opie and what happened in County? Then it took that drastic shift where, I, where when Jack Stellar as president, he rocked. He, he, he had a shitload, but there was just so much chaos. So much mayhem and Tara, and you remember in season five, and then it's, it was with Tara trying to get out, and then season six where she was lying and she faked the pregnancy and she did all this crazy shit. And it's like the lasting legacy sometimes when you look at season four through season seven. When you have Miles, you have Kozik, you 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 have Piney, you have Opie, you have Filthy Phil. I mean, it seems like every other day another member of the Sons of Anarchy was dying. West. And then, of course, that's what I was really kind of pissed about the Mines Kill Montez because Montez was there. And so I have questions for Sons of Anarchy fans out there. Now, see, with season three of Mines, you can love both shows. I love the first two seasons of Mines. Don't get me wrong. First two seasons of Mines. I love Adelita. I love Hope. The, the ladies of Mines, they are the true stars. It's not so much about the MC for me. I love the ladies. I love Adelita. I love Kara, that character's just fucking an icon, a standout character on its own, and hope, man, hope and believe, that's what you gotta believe in, so that's what got me, but see, for me as a Sons of Anarchy fan, the tie-in will always be what they do with the season three and how they've been with the question of, okay, so Mayans and Sons of Anarchy have legitimate business together, they own the, the Stockton and they own Diosa together. And they have business in Stockton together. None of that has been mentioned. So I'm wondering if they forgot about it or if they haven't mentioned it. But at the end of Season 7, when Marcus Alvarez and Nero were signed the paperwork for Diosa, that meant now Mayans and Sons of Anarchy were partners in, in the business. So whatever happened to that, man, there's so much more to the story of Sons of Anarchy that should have been told. I'm not going to lie at all.